Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is a first impression on the new Jouer foundation. So if you are interested to see if this puppy is any good, then just keep on watching. Okay, so today's video is a review of the new Jouer foundation. This is called the Essential High Coverage Creme Foundation or Cream Foundation. So pretty much the claims are it's supposed to be super full coverage, like super full coverage, lightweight and long wearing, and then also you're supposed to look flawless with a matte finish at the end. This sucker retails for $38 and it comes with 0.68 ounces of foundation in it, so it's a little less than the average one ounce, and it's kind of pricey. Like, this is technically a high-end foundation. I got the shade Shell. This one was, I think, with like the rosy undertones or something like that, but can we just look at the top? It's so cute. I love it. I really like this. It feels really heavy duty and just really luxurious for $38. Also comes with a pump, which that is awesome. I don't think I'll ever buy a foundation that doesn't have a pump nowadays. It sounds it sounds very liquidy. Like, can you guys hear that? So I'm just gonna prep my skin real quick. And also I will leave all of the products on my face um, down below, like Obies. Just if you guys are interested or wondering. I think I'm just going to use a sponge because I've not really been liking the finish of my foundations with brushes lately. So I think I'm going to go back to sponges just because I feel like my foundation always looked better with a sponge applied. So we're going to do that. We're gonna do that. Sorry if you guys were looking for the brush, but I feel like this is so full coverage, like what I've seen. So I feel like if you apply it with a brush, it probably will be way too much. So we'll see, we'll see. So that's it. So liquidy. Oh my goodness. Um, this color looks about right. I just did about like two pumps on my hand, and I'm just gonna apply this per usual. Let's see how well this coverage really is. <laughs> I'm just taking my pink boule blender. I don't know why I just said it like that, but whatever. Also, I wanted to ask you guys, um, if any of you are in the Syracuse area in New York and you know a superb dermatologist, please let your girl know. Just comment down below or DM me or whatever you want to do. So anyways, this is the foundation right now. Hold on a minute. This is the best foundation I've ever tried in my entire life of... I thought the Fenty Beauty Foundation was good, and the YSL Foundation was good, and the Wet n Wild Foundation was good, but nope, 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 nope. Jouer just stole the freaking show. This is so good. When I say I feel like I have nothing on my skin, and it's so full coverage, it literally feels like nothing is on my skin. Like, it's literally mind-blowing me right now. Like, I don't even know what to tell you guys. Like, it's insane. I've never been able to use just two pumps on my face and, like, have it this full coverage. So it just feels really nice to not have to use a lot of product. I'm going to go and finish the rest of my face. Um, and I'll be back to let you guys know how I love it. I already know I'm gonna love it. This is the completed look. So I am all done with my makeup and this is the completed look. Honestly, the Jouer foundation is my new holy grail foundation. I am obsessed, obsessed. Like I just wanna actually take like a closer look. I open this acting like this has a mirror. <laughs> okay, I have no mirrors, oh my goodness. Okay, so it just looks so smooth and just like really natural. Like I don't look cakey at all. It does emphasize texture a little bit, but I feel like that's probably 
because it's a matte finish and it's there's like no dewiness to it at all like no luminosity to my skin at all but that's what I love in foundations because I have oily skin so it helps control those throughout the day first impression I give this foundation like an A++++++ it's so good and I cannot wait to wear it more and like throughout the day because it's kind of late right now it's 6.30 so I couldn't do a wear test for you guys but I definitely wanted to get this video out there because I know a bunch of you were probably wondering about it and stuff. I think it's 100% worth buying it. If you have not, then I would definitely check it out, but I don't know how well it would work with dry skin girls. I feel like it might cling on to some of your dry patches, so you might just want to add a little more moisture to your skin before, but for oily girls, I feel like this foundation is going to be like your holy grail ride or die. So yeah, this is my first impression. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love foundation reviews and you guys know that. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave to join the S-Squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.